Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to explain a little bit about the Azure Stack portals that are available in Azure Stack Hub. I got a lot of questions about, is it the real same portal as we have in Azure and how does it look like? So yes, it is the same portal that we use in Azure today. And on my screen, you'll see the Azure portal, which is open. I have one resource group. And in this resource group, I have some resources. So now let's switch to the Azure Stack Portal. You might notice small differences, for example, Azure Stack in the top left corner, but further, we still have the resource group list with different kind of resources inside of them. So for the Azure Stack tenant experience, it's literally the same look and feel as you would have in the Azure Portal. If we move to the administration portal, that's where actually the Azure Stack operators are configuring their settings. This is a portal which of course is not available in Azure because in Azure, Microsoft is actually managing um, the infrastructure for you. In Azure Stack, you as an operator have to maintain Azure Stack yourself. So if we switch to the admin portal, you will see here, I have my region management. So I have one region has some warnings. Actually, those are about backups that are partially failing, which is fine for now. I have some alerts. So quick overview of how many uh, alerts I have open, which are in warning state, critical, and there are default resource providers that come with Azure Stack and their state, and the updates. So on the left, you have actually the same look and feel as you would have on the Azure portal. And let's dive in, for example, into region management. That's actually where you can literally go inside and under the hood of Azure Stack, where you can see how the infrastructure is, uh, is looking like. For example, capacity. If you go to the capacity blade, you will see uh, the physical storage availability, the physical memory availability, and the public IP pool usage and then the amount of skill units. So a skill unit inside Azure Stack is literally uh, four, eight, 12, 16 servers. And if you click on it, you actually can see the nodes that are part of that particular cluster. So in here we have a hyperconverged system with the total logical cores of 224 with one terabyte of RAM. And if we select the nodes, it will actually tell me it's a four node cluster, um, which are the BMC IP addresses, and you can actually do maintenance here as well. So if you need to drain a node because you might need to replace a disk or you have to do some other maintenance tasks, you can actually do a drain or repair shutdown stuff. More details about that in, in, in a future uh, video. If we go back to the dashboard, there's also an update blade. And in the update blade is actually where you can see the history of the Azure Stack updates. So once the page is loaded, you'll see actually the updates that are available. Well, at this point in time, there is no update available. You see the current version from Microsoft's point of view and from your OEM vendor point of view. So the OEM vendor can release updates, but also Microsoft is releasing updates. And depending on what they release uh, is, you have the corresponding version. And in the version history, you're going to see how long uh, it took to install an update. You can see there are two types, actually. One that takes very long to install and one that are pretty short time that they could complete. Um, the difference is mostly the hotfixes are short updates and the full updates are usually in the monthly cadence that are actually usually taking, depending on how many nodes you have, uh, a day or maybe a bit longer. Okay, so if we go back to the administration, the last thing I want to show you is the alerts pane. Um, so here you have actually the warnings and, and, and errors that are currently residing on my system. Um, so for example, there's a capacity warning that actually the public IP address utilization uh, is at 70% across all the pools. So actually it will advise me to add another pool, first acquire new, another block from my internet service provider, and then actually go to the capacity management blade, add IP pool, and then I can add a new pool of IP addresses. So I hope in this video, I gave you a quick understanding of what portals are available inside Azure Stack Hub. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comment below. And otherwise, um, I'll see you next time.